Andy and Cindy Miller will light the ceremonial flame tonight. Andy, you have been a singular, towering, transformational figure in the long rise to success of Florida State University and the Seminoles. When you were just 24 years old, the university placed their entire athletic fundraising apparatus in your hands. That was 1975. And for the last 45 years, Andy Miller's vision as president and CEO guided much of the dramatic improvement in athletic facilities and fundraising that we Seminole fans are now able to enjoy every day. George Langford and his cadre of core donors and civic leaders who recreated Seminole Boosters in 1974 considered you to be a young genius, and the years have borne that assessment out to be true. The magnificent collegiate Gothic architecture of University Center, the largest contiguous brick structure in America, was born in Andy Miller's imagination. And it was nurtured to completion through the leadership and achievements of many great Seminole coaches, administrators, and donors. College Town and all its prosperity, the Seminole Boosters Scholarship Endowment, the Seminole Boosters Planned Giving Initiative, the university licensing and affinity programs, more than 100 skyboxes, and the unique Varsity Letterman's Club, all were initiated and brought to fulfillment through Andy Miller's leadership. Andy, your decades of capital campaigns for new athletic facilities and scholarships raised more than a billion dollars on your watch. It is altogether fitting that Florida State University honor Andy Miller tonight with the George Langford Award. The sculpture behind us. <laughs> the sculpture behind us is that of an anonymous Seminole warrior, but tradition holds that the spirit of Unconquered endures, powerful and forever alive, inspired by the life and deeds of the great war leader Osceola. They say his mother was a mix of pure Seminole and fugitive black, and his father was a red-headed Scotsman. What a uniquely American symbol of the diversity that inspires our nation's greatness and which has added distinction to the history, tradition, and vision of Florida State University. In 1835, the government offered a treaty document obliging the Seminoles to be removed to the Western territories. Their first knowledge of a leader named Osceola came when he strode to the front of the room and drove his knife through the document and through the table on which it rested. Unconquered means freedom. Tomorrow at noon, a ball game will be played here. It is a game that unites all of us Seminoles and delights all of us who love our university. The game itself creates an emotional bond among students and alumni. That bond carries across time and generations, and it draws us back to this place. There's an almost mystical aura that surrounds these ancient grounds. And from time to time, there are those who claim to hear the echoes of ghosts, spirits of the Seminole and Appalachian Indian tribes, and the young men and women who also played a ball game here on this very ground 400 years ago. This ceremonial lighting of the spear marks the beginning of our game. The ceremony only takes place the night before the contest and only exceptional individuals are chosen for the honor. Andy and Cindy, you are the exceptional individuals who will light the spear tonight. For more than a century, the symbol of Florida State University has been a set of three flambeau or burning torches. They represent the eternal virtues of Virez, Artes, Mores, physical, mental, and moral strength, which our university teaches. 
Now a fourth torch will burn tonight, throughout the night, throughout the day tomorrow during the great contest, which will take place here on this ancient ground, here on the same ground where the Appalachian tribe also played a game of two teams with a ball and goalpost 400 years ago. This new flame represents the spirit of reckless courage girded with honesty and pride. The seminal word is hajo, and that word summons the independent spirit and will to win that resides in the heart of every Seminole. Who are these candidates who desire to give life to the ceremonial flame? I am Michael Alford. The candidates, Andy and Cindy Miller, are my friends and will light the symbolic torch. Their names are recorded. And who will speak to the character and worthiness of these candidates? I am Stephen Ponder. The character and reputation of these candidates, Andy and Cindy Miller, evinces the strength of a courageous spirit, the spirit that the Seminoles called Hajo. And what is the meaning of this ceremony? I am President Rick McCullough. These candidates sustain and affirm the greater mission of our university, intensifying the fire and adding brilliance to the light of civilization that must always push back against darkness. The candidates have been presented and their worthiness examined. Please take a step forward. This fiery beacon remind us of the timeless legacy of the Seminoles and of our devotion and commitment to our university. And may it strengthen our resolve to embrace the indomitable human spirit, the spirit of unconquered. Congratulations.